Hey guys, so welcome back. Today we are going to be installing the wire harness on our E and E locker for our front uh, differential. So when I bought this, I had them just put it in and I would do all the electrical work just because, you know, I'm a cheap bastard and I want to save myself between three to five hundred bucks. So if you're not afraid to do a little wiring uh, yourself, then this is a really good option, okay? So let's take a look at this manual and I'm going to show you guys the instruction. It's good to install the actual uh, the e-locker, but when it comes to electrical, all they give you is electrical diagram. So let me flip the camera around and show you guys real quick. Okay, so in instruction, there's basically one page at the front and back. Uh, in the front here, is, this is your e-locker installation instruction. Uh, basically, it's not really instruction for the electrical, but it does give you this diagram in a booklet. And if you want to get, this is really small, I can't read this, but if you want to get it on a monitor, which I've got right here in my garage, uh, you can uh, go out to this website and and get a exploded view on a bigger screen. But that's why I'm doing this video, is to show you guys the really easy way, well, it's not really easy way, but at least my way of installing the wiring on my locker. So what I want to show you guys is on the bench here, uh, all the parts and kind of logically how this will all fit into the Jeep. Kind of laying your wiring harness out, make sure everything makes sense to you before you start, you know, pulling wires to your Jeep. So that's what I've done here for you and myself, because when you get this many wires, it's nice to understand what you're doing before you actually start. Okay, so in this kit, in this bag of wires, you get basically three different uh, wiring harness. So this is your, your wire that will go down into your differential. There is a, uh, a male plug right here you're gonna use, because there are two wires sticking out um, outside, of your outside your diff, and then you're gonna plug this right inside. So we'll get to that, okay? So again, this goes down to your differential. You have to figure out where you're gonna wire and all of that. Uh, and then it comes into this relay. And then from the relay, you have your accessory, this yellow wire. So this is one wire harness. And I've twisted this so you guys kind of get an idea of how this all gonna kind of piece together. So you see that, there's one. Okay, and off the relay here, you got your accessory to your switch, and then you have, this goes to your battery source. Okay, so off coming off of this red wire right here will be your, here's another little uh, 15 amp fuse. This will go right to your battery terminal. It comes with a little round, um, what, what do you call it, connector. So that goes into your battery and you can mount this inside your firewall somewhere, anywhere, and then this will come right into here. So let me put this over here so you guys can get a kind of a, a visual. Well, hope you guys get the point, okay? And the other wire harness is actually the switch itself. So this switch has a ground wire, yellow wire, and a blue wire. This uh, yellow wire goes from yellow to yellow, like this, and you'll crimp that on together. The ground wire, what I recommend is find the, the nearest ground wire location, and this blue wire will come actually out to your fuse. So what you'll need to do, as you can see, I twisted that blue wire onto this little fuse right here, 15 or 10 amp fuse. I'm going to remove my horn, my horn 10 amp fuse, and I'm gonna replace it with that. So that's so that's that. So that's how, basically how all this go together. When I said three, this is actually the other wire harness right here. It's just the, the part that goes into the battery, your positive, okay? So one, two, and three. So, oh yeah, and then there's also a ground wire off of the actual wire that goes down into your, uh, your differential. And what's nice is that for the most part, everything is labeled pretty good. For example, this yellow one you can see says 12 volt to the relay, which is right there. Um, and then this blue wire says says 12 volt. Is there anything else? No, nope, that's just it. So to the ignition. 
okay, ignition. So that's this right here. So when I, when you turn the key off, this will be dead. When you turn the key on, this will be um, alive. Then of course the ground wire. And let me talk to you guys a little bit about this actual switch. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, this must be like the newer generation of these switches. So it's got like a little safety safety button right here so that you don't accidentally flick it on while you're driving down the road. And so if, this is kind of like, um, what do you call it? Like a chainsaw. You need, you need to flick the safety switch on first. So you just like, just push down and then up. Okay, and then you can turn it off just with the one click. But to, to engage it, see, if you just push it, you, you can't push the, the switch down. You got to push in and then up on this little um, secondary little switch right here, this button. So that's really nice. Okay, and I think the next step is, uh, you know, opening up the hood and really trying to figure out how all this wire that we just looked at is going to snake through. Uh, through the engine compartment, down to the firewall, and inside the cab somewhere. So, you know, this is where you can kind of sit back and kind of do a little strategy and figure all that out. So, less amount of wiring, in my opinion, that you got to pull, the better. So, I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to be pulling my wires. Um, and th I think this is a good option for you guys if you have the 07 um, JKU. Your other models might be different. Okay, so I think I've located a good place for my wiring harness to come through from the inside. And if you guys can see that little black circle there behind my um, my power booster, I'm gonna come right to the firewall and I'm gonna show you guys where inside that comes in. So one of the things that uh, you guys may wanna do is just connect your door uh, bell. So if you guys have your driver's side door open, this is gonna be ringing like crazy. Okay, let me show you guys where this feeds through. In fact, I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna put a screwdriver in there so you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna shove this down in here. Now you can kind of see a little bit of daylight right there. Okay, so there's that screwdriver. Come around. And you can see right there, that's where the screwdriver hand, uh, neck comes in. So that's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna be feeding the uh, wires through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this relay on the inside. I got a ton of room under the speaker right here to mount this relay. And basically I'm gonna be feeding the wires through this direction. So this is gonna go through that plastic rubber, rubber um, a little grommet. And whatever I have left over, I'm gonna just keep and rolled up and tucked in under here. And as you guys can see, there's just a ton of room to uh, keep the wire harness, you know, away and safe. So I'm gonna do this off camera because uh, I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the, the female side of this wire harness. And now I need to figure out which way, the best way to route this down into my differential. Okay, so I think I found really the best place to route this wire. And basically, I'm going to be... Let me put this flashlight down here. So if you guys can see... Let me zoom in here. There are those two uh, black and white cables sticking out of my differential. Okay, right there. So that basically comes right above the, the, the bell here or the coolant reservoir. So what makes the most sense is is to bring this harness behind this windshield fluid uh, next to my horn and then straight down here away from all the engine heat and then just kind of snake it down uh, next to the coolant bottle and I need to leave enough slack down there. You don't want this thing tight. You want to you know, keep some room in there so as your axle is fluxing, uh, you, you, you're not going to be yanking on that cable. Oh crap, so I'm looking at the cable that's coming out of the differential and there's no white and black. They're both black. Okay, so there it is. Uh, they just plug right in. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I had to reach out to uh, a Lifeline to my buddy Travis and he's the expert in this thing and I asked him the question because there's no white and black wire coming out of the differential for the locker. 
he said it's a closed loop system so it doesn't matter which way you put it in so anyways that snapped in there and what i'm what i might do is come back and tape this up with electrical tape uh later on but in the meantime just want to share that bit of information so travis thank you very much all right so i want to give you guys a quick update on getting these two little prongs up into this little uh, plastic adapter and when you when you pull these wires through on the back end you want those to be sticking out because that's how those um how it's gonna make the connection so one thing that i was doing earlier was you know i got it in there all the way seems like but the wires weren't the wires were not sticking out so what i've learned here is that when you get both the wires put in there um just don't force it just kind of wiggle it back and forth like this slightly uh and just you know kind of feel your way through until these wires the tips poke out of here so uh, learn from my some of my mistakes here don't force it just wiggle the wires until they slide in okay so you can see the little prong sticking out uh, and also it seems like they only go in one way um, i've tried forcing it one way it just it didn't go um, so then i turn it around 180 degrees and they slid right in and then on the back end this is what it should look like on the back end so once you get those uh, wires in there, there's a little sleeve right here. Oh, hold on a sec here. Anyway, you'll see this little rubber sleeve. This will slide right up in there. Just pull it up into the harness. Okay, and it feels pretty secured at the moment. So that's how it should look. Okay, so I want to give you an update. I've got it all done. And I figured this would probably be a little easier than um, me trying to fumble around with the camera and insulation, and I can just kind of walk you through what I did. So originally, I took apart the entire center console area uh, with the stereo. With the stereo, because uh, I was hoping to fit it right here where the hazard and the other buttons are, but quite frankly, um, it just wouldn't work out because behind, behind those, uh, you know, placeholder switches, there's a bracket that goes all the way across. That goes all the way across and there's a screw um, on the back side of this particular plug um, and i was wanting to put it right here or even right here but to do that i would have to cut through the bracket and once i do that this whole thing would be kind of flopping around so that's no good so i abandoned that and i was also hoping to maybe mount it somewhere up here but there's just no room with the stereo and so this whole area is really um not usable for any kind of switches whatsoever so just fyi so then i thought about okay where's the best place to mount this thing and i thought about originally over here it would have been a good location but there are two layers of plastic i need to get through and that would have been okay but you know over here kind of made the most sense and so as you guys can see it worked out really well okay so now uh, here's the behind. It kind of fits perfectly right above the speaker right there. Hope you guys can see that. And I had the wire running down through here. And this is where I really want to show you guys where I was able to mount everything. Okay, so you guys can kind of see where I mounted that. Um, oh, actually, I need to tighten that up. So that's where I placed the relay, which is on one of those screws of the brake cylinder right here this is the, the brake and i just um tapped out the hole where you see that silver little hole right there on the other side i made the hole a little bit bigger and it's screwed in right there so once i tighten that up that will be nice and secure and what's really cool is let's look over here where the wires are where i took the wires away what's really cool is that there's a little pocket right there so i basically uh wound up all the wires and zip tied it and then stuck it right in that pocket it fit perfect and and as you guys can see that's where let's see if i can see that that's where i ran the wires from the firewall to the engine bay and then if we come down here there are two ground plugs right here so i, would, I was able to um, shorten the ground cable and i grounded it right here okay so that was really convenient um then let's go around to the engine. 
So the blue and the red wire is actually the, the switch and the power source for the, uh, the locker. And this right here is my wiring going down into the differential down there where, where, where you see the red. Okay, and then I got this, this little inline fuse right here that, that came with the package. As you guys saw from my earlier diagram, um, I plugged it, I took the, the radio fuse out and I replaced it with this. I'm gonna move this around a little bit here. Okay, and then I cut out a little notch right here on this plastic cover um, and then I backfilled it with a bunch of silicone so that when I lay this down, it'll sit right there and the lid will close and it'll be pretty uh, water resistant. It'll keep, uh, you know, whatever elements out of the fuse box. So, all right, let's go take a look and see uh, if this thing turns on. Okay, so the moment of truth. Boom, there you go. So this is a little uh, two-step process. You gotta push this down first, and then you can turn on the, the flip the toggle switch.